Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 21 career mode with Villarreal and in this one, we've got a bigger man, we've got the January transfer window, we also start with a match against Real Madrid in the semi-final of the Super Cup, so you can see here instantly some players are going to depart the club players that we sold in between transfer windows, but first of all, if you're new around here, please smash that subscribe button, we're on our road to 1k and we're getting there man, we're picking up momentum, I love it. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Smash the like button as well if you go on to enjoy the video. So, Miguel departs. I don't know these names. I'm not very good with them. And that's mainly why they're leaving the club. And the fact that they're low overall. So, Enka departs as well. We've got the important transfer. You get that every single time. Moreno's been sold. I have a risk of losing a player, which is Mario Gonzalez, which I don't really care, to be honest with you. If we let him go, we let him go. I tried to sell him. He's up on the list. I've also started scouting players that you guys suggested. Again, as per usual, I love your suggestions. Do not get butthurt if your suggestions don't get picked. But we will always look at them. You guys are like my extra scouts. I will use the scouting system in all my saves and in all the series. I like to do it that way. It limits you a little bit more. And then you guys come in with the clutch signings, such as Jesus Ferreira. Jan Telman coming to us here as well. Uh, I'm proud of him. He's done really well recently. I wasn't sure how he fits in in the club. I signed him basically because he's... He's a beast on Football Manager, and uh, he's been pretty decent for us, so I cannot complain. But yes, as we see, the first match will be in the semi-final. Super Copper, I'm not sure how this works. There's no Barcelona in this competition. We'd face Sevilla or Atletico in it, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be double-legged. It doesn't look like it is on FIFA. I feel like in real life, maybe it is double-legged, but it, it, it's not on FIFA. We have a bit of an interesting month. We will probably... We might even play all four. It depends on the transfers that we get done. And on the transfer front, it's time to list Paco Alcancer. I I don't know. I feel a little bit sad about this, but I just don't trust him this year. He's not been good enough. If we look at his stats, he's done nowhere near as well as the rest of the front force. Gerard Moreno with 15, Liao with 12, Ferreira with 10. And Liao's got 12 in 17 as well. Ferreira, 10 in 22. He's been on fire. He's, he's just got hot as the season's gone on. So... I think it's time that Paco departs. I think that will probably be it, though, for players that we put on the transfer list. Danny Parejo is getting himself back to fitness. And at the moment, I'm not sure what we need. Did we put Milanes? We're going to put him on the transfer list. I wouldn't mind a new CDM. Um, at, at the moment, I'm not really sure what we need. We know we need another centre-back. We know we need another centre-back because Albiol, I just don't trust him. Vestergaard, of course, having that big injury. Pau Torres and Samakam have played so like literally every game. We need another centre-back. Potentially a young centre-back as well. So let's get into the first game of this episode. We're going up against Real Madrid, as you can see there. Pretty much full strength, maybe apart from... Looning in net, you could potentially say that's the only side of this that isn't full strength. They're aging a little bit, and we had a fantastic result against them last time. I would like to start Danny Parejo in this one. I really would. 85 rated, which is a madness. I would really like to start him in that one, but I want to rotate a little bit. We're going to play RB in this one. We'll play Alvarez as well. Mario Rulli can get the start in this competition. Moreno, Gaspar, Chuck Weze. Paco Alcancer will not start. It will be Ferreira. I need to keep him on the pitch. He's improving so much. And just all round, one of my favourite players to use at the moment. Tailman will definitely get time on the bench there, as we've seen him improve. And let's get Etty and Kapue on the bench as well. You can see the squad's a little bit smaller now, which is exactly what we want. We want to bring in more of our players, because there's players here like De La Funta, Jorgensen, who might get used at some point, but Gonzalez, Milanas, like, they're just never going to be used by me unless I'm forced into that situation. So it's nice to just have a core group now of players that are my players. Home advantage for Real Madrid in this one in this semi final which i think is just a tad unfair on us but we will take it it's a fantastic majestic stadium and we're going to hopefully beat real madrid in it and make our way to a final we haven't won a cup yet here at Villarreal. could this be the first cup we win we know on our day that we can be good enough to beat sides like real madrid will today be that day and of course danny parejo back in the side today back from injury it's the first time he's had any minutes in this team since his injury I'm hoping for a good performance from him because he was on fine form before his injury. Early free kick here to Real Madrid. Let's see what they can do. They're going to lift the ball forward. The worst part here would be conceding early. Remember what happened last time? We managed to pick up an unbelievable result. We'll be looking to do that again. Put them under a lot of pressure. Cause them a lot of problems. I must admit, I've been eager to get onto this and play it today. I'm having a really good time with FIFA at the moment. Well, Ferreira there. I'll move that one out wide to Alberto Moreno. 
We are also now looking at the realism mod. Uh, it's been suggested before. I think now that I've sorted the update situation, it'd be something I could do and I want to do. I feel like that's the best way to play FIFA. If you watch the series, you know already that I do try and like to keep it as realistic as possible. I don't like going out there and signing all these great wonder kids and ridiculous signings for cheap fees because it's just not enjoyable to play it that way. But with the realism mod, it does add a hell of a lot. And if we have a good way to work it, Alberto Moreno, they're getting through. If we have a good way to work it, then I'm more than happy to do it. Gerard Moreno might actually be in here. He did score against them last time. Gerard Moreno now. Tight angle for him. Gerard Moreno does not care. It doesn't matter how tight the angle is because this man will find the back of the net. But yes, if you would like the realism mod to come in into season three, then let me know. If not, we will leave it for the next career mode that we do after Villarreal. They're the options. I'm not going to do it mid-season. It doesn't make sense to me so we'll bring it in next season or after the window shuts we could do that but i don't want to do a window with the realism mod at this stage and then or well not and then or we could bring it in for the next series it without a doubt will be in for the next series because i'm looking forward to using it it was great last year and the improvements looked fantastic again this year Gerard Moreno, 1-0 here against Real Madrid. And that's the first breakaway. And we just show how good we are. Ferreira with the pass to him. Real Madrid bringing it forward now. Hazard. We remember how tricky he was on the ball last time. I had to keep him off it as much as possible. Of course, we did take the lead in the league over Real Madrid in the last episode. And we're hoping to stick it to them a little bit more here. How frustrating would that be for Real Madrid? And of course, Zidane, if they actually lost positional places to us and then they got knocked out of the cup by us is that a beautiful ball to chuck Waze? oh it might be luca modric there that is fantastic defending for him i mean he may be getting on in age but he's still an unbelievable player that is superb from him oh danny parejo now has been sent through you're gonna find chuck Waze. oh he's found chuck Waze beautifully chuck Waze now what can he do he's gonna try and lift it up he's found danny parejo on the edge with the volley and well saved by lunin that would have been a great return to football, wouldn't it, for Danny Parejo there? He just edged off, and he managed to get a volley away as well. Yeah, it's a little bit too close to the goalkeeper, though, isn't it? He'll be angry with the defence, though. The counter was on so easily there. Corner kick now. We could do it. Oh, we haven't scored a corner in a while. Gerard Moreno puts it just wide of the post. Okay, I realised just now that there was no audience noise during that first opening moment. So do apologise. Some strange reason. OBS decided it didn't want the audience. But they're back in now. And you'll get to hear them booing if Real Madrid keep playing like this. You certainly will. Real Madrid cannot keep this up. This is a poor performance. That was nearly very nice, though, from Asensio. We need to be cautious as well. We don't... Play the ball too much. We've created what appears to be quite a good counter-attack inside here. And we don't have too many bodies in the centre of the park, so that does make sense. But I'd love to be a little bit more viable as a passing team. Ferreira, Chuck Weze. Oh, wrong decision. Maybe Chuck Weze should have been unselfish, uh, not unselfish there and taken the shot. Hazard now. Hazard fires off the shot, and what a goal that is. What a goal that is. I thought I'd done enough with Samakam to get the block on it. Clearly not. Clearly not. That man is a danger man. That's the problem. We highlighted it earlier on. Hazard's really difficult to get off the ball. And I thought I'd done enough to block it, but I think it goes through some Ackham's legs. We'll get a bit of a closer look here. Does it go through his legs? No, it doesn't. He just doesn't quite get the block in. Hazard there equalizes here. I must admit, though, I am looking forward to in the realism mod. Better goalkeepers. Gerard Moreno. Tries to find Ferreira. Oh, he's done him. He turns it just before half time. It's Jesus Ferreira. He is at it again, boys. He's at it again. What a man this lad is. What a man this lad is. He's turning out. He's getting up there now. This year for me, it's Kramaric, Gerard Moreno next. And at this moment in time, Jesus Ferreira as my favourite strikers to use on FM, uh, on FM, on FIFA this year. Unbelievable. He scores again. Really was a goal just before half time there. That brings us in with the lead 2 1 at half time, but there's a lot left in this game to go. And there's a lot more that Real Madrid can do. They've got some threats on this pitch. Well, let's see what Real Madrid have to offer here in the second half. They haven't done much in the way of possession. But they did score that great goal with Hazard, and they might open us up here. Asensio. Oh, that's beautiful. Modric. I tried to tuck on his shirt, and Rooney makes the save. I'm not going to lie. With Gaspar, I'm like, pull his shirt, pull his shirt. Look at him there. I've got an handful. Modric still fires off the shot, though, and luckily it's well saved. 
Maybe a little bit off balance thanks to that shirt tug. Give that to Asensio. He's played really well, but that wasn't what they expected, was it? Ferreira now. What can he do? He's going to try and play that one forward. He's got a little bit of height on that, but Arbe's done beautifully. Arbe now wants Ferreira to keep making the run. Oh, it's well saved by Lunin. It's very, very, very well saved by Lunin and confirmed Rodrigo has gone to Chelsea. So he's left Real Madrid, gone to Chelsea, the young Brazilian. That's quick reaction there. Maybe should be slotted home from Ferreira for his second of the game, but he's just kept Real Madrid in it. Well, Danny Parejo's first game back has been a good one. He's played very well in the centre of the park. Francis Coquelin will come on now. He's just eased Danny Parejo back into, you know full matches some now for Real Madrid Benzema's coming off for a Mobley yeah they've got a Mobley now as well man that's madness they just I mean the subs that they can make it, it's just crazy they're gonna have a free kick here let's see what they do with it they've whipped it in quite nicely we head that away but it's not completely away a Mobley's first impact what will it be he's good on the ball as well by the looks of it got a nice little bit of shift when it comes to his weight Oh, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Ferreira will try and unleash Gerard Moreno. Poor counter-attack from us. Oh, coming forward now, Real Madrid. Tony Cruz. Shots blocked. Modric! Well tackled there by Mario Rulli, of all people. But they're going to end up with the ball straight back. Mendy loses out, and luckily we can break away. No, we can't break away. Casemiro's done brilliantly there. We just need to get this ball out at the moment. Modric now will try and bring it forward. Samakam does his best on him. Casemiro now. What can he do? Hazard. Back to Modric. This is very difficult this second half. I'm not going to lie. We had the one opportunity, and then that's literally it. Immobile now. Oh, can we hold them off? Let's just hold them off, boys. Batten down the hatches. Batten down the hatches. But every time I feel like I've got to the ball, it lands to another Real Madrid player. Have we pushed them back enough now? No, because Hazard's charging at us. Nice ball roll from him. Modric turns and shoots. Is blocked by Samakam. This is crazy. Just get the ball away. Just get it off them. Get it off Tony Cruz. Get it off somebody. Casemiro now will turn. Immobile outside of the box. Pau Torres now. Can he get it away? He can't get it away. We're still trying to get the ball off of them. And in the end, we do. And can we break? To be honest with you, I don't care if we break. I just really don't want them on the ball anymore. But Coquelin there now. Tries to play it to Gerard Moreno. And again, another terrible counter-attack. He's probably going to lead to more Real Madrid dominance. Oh, they made a mistake there. Ferreira's still making the run. It's lifted to him. Ferreira! Well saved by Lunin again. Keeping them in the game. Oh, they made another mistake. Ferreira's on the run again. It's played into him again. Ferreira this time does not make the mistake. And that will be it. Real Madrid are going to be knocked out here of the Supercopper. So you can see they all drop to the floor. They've dominated this second half. But it does not matter. Because it's that man again. Jesus Ferreira. Brilliant ball in from Rafael Liao. And we will take the spoils in this one and head to a final. Our first final of this Villarreal series. Well, no time here really for Zidane to react to that. Or Real Madrid to... We've got the victory here. That's a madness, though, in my mind because we're really taking it to Real Madrid this season. Those two giving it a little bit of a hug. Sergio Ramos surely has to just applaud Jesus Ferreira's ability to get in behind and slot the ball in the back of the net. It was his game today. Two goals, fantastic performance, fantastic performance from the boys. We got ourselves a final. I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this happening. We play the final now. We, we play the final now, boys. Two days later, Atletico Madrid, final of the cup. I feel like I should go put my suit on, but to be honest with you, it's boiling out, so I'm not going to do that. But here we go. We Straight away, straight into the final. Madness. Transfer offer here from Lazio for Moy Gomez. I, I would kind of be intrigued to see what kind of deal we could get for Moy Gomez. So I will negotiate it. That doesn't mean that I want him to go. But I think if the perfect deal was on the table, then... Maybe we'd accept it. With Arbe waiting in the wings, Liao being able to play there as well. Let's see. If we can get close to his release clause, like the 30 million mark, I probably would be willing to let him go for that. So going with 30.5, see what they say. They might just outright say we're not going to see. So they're not, they're not going to pay it. We already know they're not going to pay it. We'll just walk away. There's no point even entertaining the negotiation when they come back with the same bid. He, he's too important to us to let him go for that. The fact that he can play centre mid as well does help us. Uh, I thought for a long time that we'll move him to be a centre mid because he's very good on the ball, but not the quickest. We'll see. More transfer bids being knocked back for Ruli. It just seems to be the case. We, we get them constantly. None of them are even close to his release clause or really close. 
uh, to what we do. I think when you're a team like us who are on the up, you want two very good goalkeepers. We've got ours now with Lafont and Ruley, so I'm okay with that. Right. Cup final day, Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Mark it on your calendar. Don't, don't actually. I don't, can you go that far? Anyway, we'll play against Atletico Madrid. This will be the starting 11. Of course, usual strike partnership. Nally, I was going to play out on the left. Mozo comes in at right back because Gaspar was knackered. Ruli is going to be the cup goalkeeper as he has been for the entirety of the Supercopa, even though we've only played one game. This is going to be the team. They've got a very good team. They're playing Mason Greenwood at centre mid. Lorente again out on the right, which is always an interesting thing that they do when we play against them. But they've caused us problems in the past. I remember they beat us 3-0 at one stage as well. Let's see if we can win our first trophy, boys. Well, first impressions here for Atletico Madrid of Ulkay Gundagan. They've signed him. That is a massive, massive transfer for Atletico Madrid. No doubt about it. He is brilliant. How did I miss that one when I looked at the lineup? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. This is frustrating because we're away again. It's a final and we're away. It just seems very strange that Atletico Madrid get to be at home, but... I believe wearing their away kit. So we'll see Gundagan there in the starting lineup. We'll see what he's got to offer in this one. All black, of course, will be difficult to score past. We know that. There's the trophy that we're playing for, the Super Copper. We'd like to add that one to the trophy cabinet here at our time at Villarreal. It'd be nice to pick up our first trophy of the series as well. Potentially could be on for a treble in this one. We'll kick this one off with Gerard Moreno, Ferreira. They're going to have to be cautious. They know how good we are going forward. They're not silly. They know that we're a threat on the counter. They might sit deep. When teams have sat deep on us before, it's been an absolute nightmare for us. We will hope that they don't sit deep. So Mackham there, I thought was going to play it in on the counter to Ferreira. Ferreira. Oh, I thought I'd got it through the legs there of Hermoso. Great back line for... Uh, for Atletico Madrid. Free at the back, though. Has Capoue done some magic there? He has. Chuck Weze now. Finds Capoue. He'll stab that forward. Danny Parejo tries to stab it forward again. Ah, oh, he's a judge to have handled the ball. And it'll be Atletico Madrid's. Liao now making a run. This is going to be the first time we're allowed to break away. Rafael Liao now. And this is why he was chosen today. Look at this for a breakaway from Liao. 1-0. There we go. Via Real with Rafael Liao. 1-0, ladies and gentlemen, here in the Super Copa final. And I knew as soon as I got that ball out wide to him and saw no one there to, to defend him, no one there to mark him, no one there to come and tackle him, that we were going to be in with him. It was just all about whether he could get the finish, and he perfectly did that. That's what you get when you play a striker at left mid. And number nine bags the first goal of this match. Bit of an uphill mountain now to climb for Atletico. I was getting a goal that early in the game, of course. Definitely wouldn't have been on the script. They do have a man down now and injured. He could be potentially coming off. I'm not sure who that is, but it does look like their captain, whoever their club captain is, Suarez now. Greenwood. Can he do? We'll close them down. I mean, we're congesting the middle of the pack really well. That's lovely play, though. Gundagan. Nice footwork from him. Luis Suarez. Up against Pau Torres. If you want him up against anyone, it's Pau Torres. We'll just shield Greenwood out wide here. Good ball roll. Well defended by Danny Parejo, but they'll have a corner. Well, the injury is Koke, the club captain. Now, they haven't brought him off yet, but that could mean that we can exploit them where he is. And they're going to have to come out here. Liao there, very smartly, maybe to Moreno. Oh, I tried to knock it back on then to Ferreira. This wasn't a good ball, though, was it? Was not a good ball. Speaking of good balls, this could be a fantastic one to Valerie if he gets onto it. Luckily for us, he doesn't. There was a lot of space there down that wing for him to run into. The throw in will go our way. And we will keep the pressure on. There's no way I want to stop here. I want to keep going. Samuel Chuck Weze now. What can he do? Good footwork from him. Pulls it back. Tries to pull it across. Not a good enough pass. Probably should have gone back to Danny Parejo there. Ferreira now is going to play that one over to Chuck Weze. They didn't track him very well, did they? Chuck Weze, though, will bring it back. Finds Ferreira. Ferreira tries to back heel it into Danny Parejo. Would have been nice that. We're trying to pass the ball a little bit smarter now. I think maybe in the future we might build a team around the principle of um, of good passing. I've heard that in the mod, in the realism mod, the, the match flow, the way it goes, does favour more of a passing game. Because obviously FIFA is very much win the ball back counter as quick as you can while you have the numbers advantage. It'd be nice to have to kind of build up play a little bit like sometimes you do on Pez. We'll win that back there. Very smart play by Alan Mozo. This is a big game for him, getting an opportunity in a cup final like this. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about having to play a different way. Because, you know, on this difficulty, you do favour pace to a degree. Although Ferreira's more got strength than he does pace. And he's been fantastic. Liao now just turns on the Jets out of nowhere. He's got Gerard Moreno making that run. I think he first spotted Chuck Ways. Hey, Ferreira. Beautiful. Ferreira now has three goals in this competition. Might have been a bit sweaty. A bit sweaty, but I do not care. Because that man nets himself another goal. It's a great play between Liao, Chuk Weze, and then Ferreira to tap it in. Right at the end there. Oh, Black, no chance. And this could be the cup done, uh, the cup done and dusted here. Look at that. Beautiful ball to Chuk Weze. And then just slides it across to Ferreira. And that's it. Done and dusted maybe here now. Well, they've got it all to do here in the second half of Atletico Madrid. Thanks to our front line more than anything. Our defence has been solid, but Liao's been brilliant in this one. The decision to play him at left mid, well, I'm going to take all the applause for that. I'm going to take all the applause for that. 2-0 at half-time for Villarreal. Well, Joe Felix gives that away really early here into the second half. Gerard Moreno now, for some strange reason, I accidentally sent Ferreira the wrong way. Is Chuck Weze onside? He is onside. The problem is he's got no one to pass it to. He will in the end. Oh, he's nearly an own goal. Hermoso nearly puts it in the back of his own goal. But there is Ferreira. I just told him to do the wrong run. Liao now. Back to Gerard Moreno. He's going to be tackled off the ball. But danger signs already to, for Atletico Madrid. And it's just the way they're playing is very strange. It's been, well... I don't want to say easy, but they've been easy to kind of handle on the attack, which is where I thought we'd struggle. And then going forward, they just seem to keep leaving gaps. Free kick here for Atletico. They surely getting to a stage in the match where they need to do something soon. Because so far, we're not seeing much from them. And this is the kind of space we're being given. Oh, Chuck Weze might have a beautiful ball through to Ferreira. He did. Ferreira! Oh, to finish it off, maybe lands to Chuck Weze. Hermoso does well enough. And again, we just cut them open because they're not playing conventional fullbacks. They're playing that free at the back. They're playing more aggressive going forward, which is absolutely fine. We played that at Bayer Leverkusen, but you pay the price when there's pace down the wings. That's exactly what we've got today as we win the free kick. It's causing them all kinds of problems. Well, call me crazy, but at 2-0, we're going to make a triple substitution. Tailman's going to go up top for Moreno. We're also going to bring on Robertone for Danny Parejo and Dembele for Chuck Weze. I just feel like we might as well at this situation, Robertone with a shot there. I mean, they've not caused me any problems, like genuinely not caused me any problems. I'm kind of okay with making those kind of substitutions, giving the youngsters a bit of an opportunity. Ferreira finds Tailman. Tailman back to Ferreira, potentially in space. Oh, he's turned beautifully. Ferreira just to tie off the tie. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ferreira with the goal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 3-0 here against Atletico Madrid. Jesus Ferreira with a brace. Fantastic performance from him. Tailman's pass to him was beautiful, but it's all about the way he shifts his weight and gets into a goal-scoring position. Atletico Madrid and Diego Simone are not going to be happy after this one. It took until the second season, but there we go, ladies and gents. Our first trophy of this career mode here with Villarreal, and it has come in the form of the Supercopa. The boys thoroughly deserve this one. Let's go and collect our medals. Let's go and enjoy this celebration of winning this cup. It's always good to get your first cup under your belt in these career modes. And this will be our first one. I'm very excited for this. Thoroughly deserved. Thoroughly deserved. That man, Etienne Capoue there, is going to lift the trophy after what a brilliant result against both Madrid sides. I wasn't expecting this cup at all, but there we go. Our first celebration, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Super Copper champions here in 2022, January 9th. Well done, boys. Well done. I'm sure the celebrations will go long into the night, but then we need to start thinking and focusing. We really do because we've got the opportunity to win the league this season, the way things are going. This is a very, very special group of lads that we've got out on the pitch at the moment. There's a nice blend of youth and experience. And we thoroughly deserve that. Wow. I, I just, I really did not expect in this episode to be lifting a trophy. I just didn't. I just did not see that coming. We are Super Cup of Champions. Of course, that's made the board a little bit happier than they were in the start, which is nice. We've got some matches rescheduled here, which is showing me that it's only been rescheduled, I'm imagining, for the Leon games that we've got coming up. We are going to play also sooner next, which has been rescheduled. Oh, and then we go into the, the other cup. So 
This month has sprung a lot of surprises. I, we haven't even played a league game yet in this episode. And we're only going to get one in now. I think it's time to start adding to the team a little bit here. We're going to go in for Michael Cuisson, say. We're going to approach to buy him. I reckon we're just going to give them 20 million. Because, again, I hate the transfers in this. I hate the fact that they're so cheap. I, I mean, it's not a good ecosystem in terms of transfers on FIFA. We'll offer them 20 million, which is still low potentially for him potentially i mean he's not playing at bayern munich but i still think it's a little bit low for a 22 year old that we know could grow fairly well and of course that's going to be accepted let's go in and do the negotiation for the contract hopefully he tells me what he wants well instantly i'm happy that he's going to accept rotation they want four years which again more than happy with he's a player for the future here we will propose a release clause because he doesn't want one we paid 20 million i'm going to see if they'll give me 50 and hopefully he'll accept this. 41.3. It would double our money. We'll accept that. I'm okay with that. I, I like that we're getting some decent release clauses in here that aren't completely ridiculous. Now, this is where I was hoping he'd give me a bit of a look in. We're going to up it to 52,000. And I'll do what I always do. Offer him 100k. I do that with every signing bonus. And he does accept it. We're happy with that. That's a decent deal. Four years. Michael Cuisson is joining the club. I'm also torn at the moment with who we sign at centre-back. It's kind of like you go big with a Kunde, But I feel like Kunde would be a player we signed in the summer. Or we go for someone younger. We do need a centre-back in this window. Really, with Vestergaard injured and Albiol not going to be here next season. Do we hold off, though, until next season? Could we get away with that? Matt Seamer's... Not impressive, but he, he's young. He's 1971 rated, could certainly improve. A lot of food for four. I like that he's six foot four as well. Gives us that added height. Oh, a transfer offer again for Ruli. They just keep coming. Nunes this time. Uh, he's not going anywhere. I'm eager to see if we get any massive bids for some of our younger players. No one's come in yet for Paco. And I won't sign a striker until Paco goes, because if he stays, I'll use him. There's no way a player is being paid what he's been paid if he's not leaving the club, is, is not going to play this season. Some scout reports coming back. Evan and Dicker is another option for us to have at centre-back, would be another good young French centre-back, the youngster. And Harrit is another player that we're going to add, although he has recently moved to Milan, so we won't be able to sign him this season, but potentially a player for next season. Pretty much full strength in this one. The difference is Cuisson will be on the bench. Coquelin's going to come in with Alvarez. Uh, we've got some tiredness there. And Liao, obviously, after that last performance, will start at left midfield again. That could be his future position, I think, with Ferreira and Moreno as our star strikers in the out and Chuck Waze out wide. It could be hard to stop us. A very, very snowy one here at the halfway point of the season on match day 19 coming up against Osasuna. And knowing our luck, we go and beat both Madrid sides and then lose to Osasuna in the league. So we do have to concentrate on this one. We have to be very focused. Won't be easy on a snowy pitch. But I've got a lot of faith in this team. I really do. I, I really enjoyed the Bayer Leverkusen side, not going to lie. Built a good squad there, some great players in that team. But this one's just clicked instantly, and we're so good with this Villarreal team already. Oh, Gaspar's won it back. He's going to fire it across for error. There we go. 1-0 Villarreal, just like that. Defensive mistake from Osasuna. Mario Gaspar nicks the ball off the defender. Fantastic work from him. And guess who scores again? Guess who scores again? I... Honestly, this man is magnificent. It's a great ball across, to be fair. Great finish, though. Calm, cool, collected. Oh, Coquelin stolen the ball this time. Back across to Ferreira. And he might be in again. Ferreira makes it two. Just like that. Back-to-back -back mistakes from Osasuna. And that's how quickly the tide of the game can turn. Very disappointing there, I have to be honest. Really disappointing from their perspective. Giving up two mistakes. But Jesus Ferreira will take this brace. Jesus Ferreira. This time he's going to try and play in Gerard Moreno just like that. It's free. Every time we come forward at the moment, we score. Ferreira now with the assist to Gerard Moreno. Gerard Moreno with the goal. This was beautiful. This was absolutely beautiful. And I feel sorry for Osasuna here because they are being torn apart. Keeper's probably got to come for that. But again, tight angles are no problem for Moreno. Ferreira now, that's a beautiful ball there to Chuck Weze. Who's just ever improving, isn't he? Chuck Weze now will pull that back across to Ferreira. And that's his hat trick. Just like that, he absolutely hammers that one home. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. Hat-trick, Jesus Ferreira. Again, again, he's got another hat-trick, boys. He's got another hat-trick. Chuck Weze, though, did brilliantly to pull it back. 
Oh, that's beautiful. And he hammers that one home. We might have to make some subs at half time. We played a lot of games recently. Might be worthwhile. Some Ackham's up there and it's headed off the line. Can you believe it? Akuna now with a shot. Oh! Marcos Akuna's first goal for the club is an absolute scream pie, boys. What a finish from Marcos Acuna. Unbelievable. The fans must be absolutely living a dream here. Look at this for a hit. Oh, I cannot believe we've just scored this one, lads. And with the left back, we've scored this with our left back. This is magnificent. Keeper didn't stand a chance. But well, when you're winning like that, it's time to make some changes. Cuisance will come on for his first game for the club. And Tailman will also come on up top again. Cuisance now, that's lovely play from him. Good footwork. Nice turn. Finds Ferreira. Ferreira from distance. Oh. <laughs> Six nil, lads. Six are the best as well. There have been great goals in this one. That's Ferreira's fourth goal of this match. They've not been bad goals, have they? We've given you very good ones here against Osasuna. I think at this stage, it might be time to just leave and quick sim. This is another fantastic goal, though, from Jesus Ferreira, man. What a finish this is. Bosch, top corner. No surprise, jumping to the result leaves us with a 6-0 victory. Fantastic performance that was from the boys and against Osasuna. And I guess that kind of leads us into the situation of, do we put the realism mod in? instantly because it will make the gameplay more difficult now people have maybe questioned and said why don't you play an ultimate i think ultimate's just unrealistic it just makes every player 99 rated that's not fun to me i've fiddled with the sliders a lot to try and make it as difficult and competitive and yes we have our off days like the levante game but i have to be honest when we build a team like this it does become relatively easy against the smaller teams to just batter them as you see there, that 6-0 victory, we probably could have gone on and maybe potentially scored 8. So, Luka Jovic has signed for Arsenal from Real Madrid. That's massive. Let's take a look at some of the deals on the news article. But, yeah, so it's food for thought, guys. If you think we put the mod in instantly and we get the better gameplay, then I will do that. Um, I don't really like doing it mid-transfer window or mid-season, but it makes sense if it gives better episodes in terms of the matches being a little bit closer. We do get close matches. But when I'm on form, when I'm feeling good and I'm playing well, um, it, it does get a little bit easy. Granada beat Barcelona. Wow. I want transfer news to Real Madrid except a bid for Luka Jovic. That's massive for Arsenal. They'd like that, but it doesn't matter because Real Madrid bring in Bernardo Silva. Frankfurt signed Jonathan Rodriguez. Atletico de Madrid target Ajax is blind. Uh, Ganagon has signed for Fiorentina. That's a great signing for them. And Inter sign Manuel Locatelli. Of course, we're not up there with our signing of Michael Cuisance, which is a little bit of a shame. You can see Paco here saying he needs more game time, but I mean... It, it, the situation is, Paco, is we're trying to sell you. No bids coming in so far. But that's going to be it, boys. That's going to be it for this episode. We've got the transfer stuff, the cup final. We basically had two full live comes in this one instead of more clipped um, goals. But I appreciate the spot as per usual. We keep on climbing. We keep on grinding. And we are enjoying this. This team is unbelievable. We've still got some money left to spend. And we need to spend it because we need a centre-back. We do need a centre-back. Evan and Dicker potentially could be that sign-in. We're a little bit weak in that position but thank you very much for all the support as per usual boys take it easy i'll see you in the next one